Hello, in this video we are going to add some controls to our character which I've chosen a bat. Uh, just to recap though, we have got the code for when the green flag clicks it hides uh, because we don't want it to appear straight away, we want to make sure when you press start game it appears. Um, but we've also got uh, the backdrop, when the backdrop switches to level 1 um, then it shows up and we've also got that it's going to switch between costumes from uh, bat 1A to bat 1B or vice versa so it looks like it's flapping its wings um, so let's add some controls to this and okay so the way how you would do this is you would shockingly enough click on control and then you would um, in fact actually you wouldn't you wouldn't you would um, even more shockingly enough click on events and then you would say when space key pressed and then what do we want it to do we want it to move in a certain direction or point in a certain direction so we'll say when space key pressed we will um, go to the right but we don't want it to be space key we want it to be right arrow key or you could have um, WASD it's completely up to you um, but I like having the arrow key, so I'm going to say when right arrow key pressed, uh, point to the right. Um, that's it at the moment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and duplicate that. And I'm going to duplicate it four times. You can potentially guess why. Um, and I'm going to change that to, uh, we'll say up, and then change the point direction to up. Uh, the same for this one going down, change it to down and uh, what if I got left um, left um, and then change that to the left there we go so now I've got it so when you press the arrow key it's going to point in a different direction but at the moment we're still not really moving okay um, so I'm gonna add in another when green flag is clicked I would like um, forever and I would like it to move a certain amount of steps. Now I'm just going to try two steps. There we go, like that. Okay. So now let's let's give everything a go. And again, I'm just doing this off the top of my head at the moment. Um, potentially it could go wrong. We'll see if it does. So green flag clicked. So there we go. Let's start a new game. Thank you very much. And then I've got my bat all the way over here, which um, you'd say is slightly crazy, really. Um, but we'll talk about that in a second. Now I can fly up. If I press right, then I'm pointing and down and left. Now there's obviously, um, it looks a bit strange at the moment, but we'll talk about that in a second. But the first thing you'll notice though is that it is always moving because I've got that forever move two steps. Um, in the same way that that's kind of how Pac-Man moves. Um, if you notice, it's not like you have to keep tapping the button or you have to hold it hold it down. It's just you tap it once and it goes in a certain direction. Now, two main problems are as follows. First of all, it's upside down. Um, and secondly, uh, there we go, flying straight through a wall. Um, technically, you could say it's a bat, so it might fly over the wall. But we're not going for that. These are very high walls. There should be um, some impact with the wall, okay? Um, so, first of all, let's just stop for a second. First of all, what we need to do is on the bat, make sure, so this is your sprite screen, make sure you right click, go on info, and then just have the rotation style as left, well, it's known as left, right. Um, and then let's start again, start a new game. And there we go. We, we're going to have to worry about the um, position of the bat as well, but we'll go from there, okay? Um, so there we go now if I move up and down and left and right so there's no silly going upside down and things like that um, but we still do need to add some collision in there so that's gonna be the next video so um, bit going on there quite quite a lot happened um, if we want to speed up um, then we would change that from a 2 to a higher number for example 4 we we'll double the speed um, there we go so that's going quite a lot faster it's up to you on the the speed of your character generally the faster it goes the more difficult the game would be um, but not necessarily but again completely up to you how it goes so i hope it's been informative um feel free to go back a little bit rewind and take a look at some of the code that i put in if you need to or pause it um, and the next video will work on getting that collision with the walls sorted out okay so we we don't want to fly into or through or over walls we want to be bouncing off the walls okay um right okay then guys um thank you very much for watching this video bye bye